Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to solve this engineering mechanics problem. This is very important problem. Determine the moment of inertia of shaded area shown in figure about the axis AB. You see the axis AB, we will find the moment of inertia of the shaded area. This area we need to find. So how we will find this one? We will take this triangle is the first one. I will draw here. Triangle is the first one. Second one is semicircle. This semicircle. Third one is circle. I'll draw it here. Circle. Now you see here how much this one? 40 plus 40, 80. So this distance is 80. So this distance given as 80. So first we will write this distance. This is 80. This is also 80. This is triangle. This is semi-circle. This is circle. This is first one, second one, third one. You see the semi-circle. This is also 80. This distance is 40. This distance is 80. This distance is 40. The circle dia is 40. Now, we will write area of triangle. First one, triangle. Second one, semi-circle. Third one, circle. What is area of triangle formula? Area of triangle is of BH. Of into, what is B? B is 80, height is also 80. You see here, this is breadth, this is height. 80 and 80. Cancel this one. 40. 4 8s are 32. So 3200 mm square. All dimensions in mm. So area A1 is 3200 mm square. What is semicircle formula? A2. Area of semicircle is equal to pi r square by 2. Equal to pi into what is r? You see here. This is dia. Dia is 80. Radius is only 40. 40 into 40 divided by 2. Cancel this one 20. How much comes? 4 2s are 8. 800 pi. Or 2513.27 mm square. This is A2. Next is Area of circle or A3 is equal to pi r square or pi d square by 4 equal to. We know only dia. Dia is given as 40. So radius means 20. So we will take this formula pi d square by 4. Pi into d is 40 into 40 divided by 4. 1 times this is 10 times. So, what is the answer? 1256.63 mm square. This is A3. Next, we will find moment of inertia of triangle. What is the moment of inertia of triangle? I A X1 equal to. What is the formula? B H Q by 36. What is B? B is 80. What is H? H is also 80. 80, the whole cube, divided by 36. I, A, X1. What comes? We will multiply this one. 1, 1, 3, 7, 7, 7, 7, point seven eight mm power 4. This is the moment of inertia of triangle answer. Next Moment of inertia of semicircle. What is moment of inertia of semicircle? I A X2 point eleven R power 4 equal to point eleven into semicircle. Semicircle is you see this is 80. 80 radius is 40. So R is 40. 40 whole power 4. I A x2 is equal to this one we will multiply answer is 281600 mm power 4 
This is moment of inertia of semicircle. Next, moment of inertia of circle. What is moment of inertia of circle? I A X3 is equal to pi by 64 d power 4. Pi divided by 64 into what is d? d is 40 into 40 whole power 4. I A X3 is equal to 125663.70 m m power 4. This is the moment of inertia of circle. Now we will find by parallel axis theorem. What is parallel axis theorem formula? I A B1 is equal to I A X1 plus A1 Y square. I will write it here. I A B1 is equal to I A X1 is 1 1 3 double 7 double 7.78 7 plus A1 is 3200 plus 3200 into Y square. Y square means we will take it from triangle Y square. So how we will take Y square from here? This is the center of gravity. This is Y. Here is X. This is x by 3. This is y by 3. So y is equal to y by 3 only we will take. This is 80. So y by 3 is 80 by 3. This is 80 by 3. The whole square. I a b 1 is equal to 3 4 1 3, 2, 7, 6.44 mm power 4. Next, by parallel axis theorem for semicircle. What is the formula? I A B2 is equal to I A X2 plus A2 Y square. What is I A X2? 2, 8, 1, 600. 281600 plus A2 is 2513.27. 2513.27 into what is Y? We will take Y from here. So, how we will take Y here? We will take center of gravity here. So, draw the line. Here is X. Here is Y. So, Y means this is Y. This y is 4 or by 3 pi. You see in this drawing, AB line is here only. This semicircle is comes down. Down means minus. So minus 4 or by 3 pi. You see the graph. This is x, here is y. This is minus y, here is minus x. Now, y is equal to minus 4 or by 3 pi. y is minus 4 or by 3 pi. minus 4 into r is 40 divided by 3 pi the whole square. You see here minus into minus plus. So this one plus only comes. What is the final answer? 1005930.5. Four. This is I A B two. Next, by parallel axis theorem for circle, I A B three is equal to I A X three plus A three Y square. I A X three is one two five six six three point seventy. A3 is 1256.63. Next step. IAX3 is 1256.63.7 plus A3 is 1256.63 into this Y value. How we will find? We will find in circle. You see here this is AB. The AB point is lies in this center of circle. 
So what comes y? y is 0 into 0. So what is the final answer? 1, 2, 5, 6, 6, 3 point 7. mm power 4. I, A, B, 3. Next, we will find moment of inertia of the shaded area. How we will find the shaded area? Now we calculate a triangle, semicircle and circle. We will add triangle plus semicircle minus of circle. We will get moment of inertia of shaded area. Now we will calculate moment of inertia of shaded area. Triangle plus semicircle minus circle. That time we will got moment of inertia of shaded area. Moment of inertia of shaded area with respect to AB. IAB is equal to IAB1 plus IAB2 minus IAB3. IAB1 is 341-3276.44. IAB1 is 341-3276.44. IAB2 is 100-5930.64. Next, IAB3 is minus, minus 12566.370. What is final IAB equal to? 4293543.38 mm power 4. This is the moment of inertia of shaded area about the axis A, B. This is the final answer. Next, we will find centroid of composite shapes. So, how we will find centroid of composite shapes? Centroid of composite shapes. First we will take triangle, second one is semicircle. As per this drawing we will split this one. Circle. Area of triangle is of BH already we calculated in the last section. Answer is 3200 mm square. Semicircle A2. What is the area of semicircle is pi r square by 2. Answer is 2513.27 mm square. Circle is pi d power 4 divided by 4 equal to what is the answer? 1256.63 mm square. This is A3. Next, we will find x1, y1 in this case. So, how we will find x1, y1? First one is triangle. This distance is 80, this is breadth, this is height or length. Next one is semi-circle. We will take semi-circle. Next one is circle. I will draw it here. This is circle. Now, we will take center of gravity, this one. Center of gravity, this is, this is y is x. This is x by 3. This one is y by 3. Now we need only this. So 80 minus this one, this value we will get. What is x1 here? x1 is equal to 80 minus x is 80 divided by 3 equal to. What is the answer? 53.33 mm. X value is, you see, x is 80. So, 80 divided by 3. So, this whole thing minus this, this x1 value we will get. Next, y. y is center of gravity. So, 80 by 3, that is y1. y1 is equal to 80 by 3. It's equal to 26.67 mm. This is also mm. Next, we will take semicircle center of gravity. So, we will take this is the center. We will draw the line. This is y, this is x. 
you see this drawing a b is here but semicircle is downside downside means this is minus this is plus so this is minus minus 4 or by 3 pi x is how you will find x this is x this is x this is y this is x divided by 2 what is x2 x2 is equal to x divided by 2 what is this value is 80 80 divided by 2 is 40 80 divided by 2 is 40 mm y2 y2 is equal to minus 4 or by 3 pi minus 4 into what is r value r is 40 divided by 3 pi y2 is equal to minus 16.97 mm next x3 y3 we need to calculate we will find x3 and y3 in this circle first we will take center of gravity this is the center of gravity you see here a b is here what is x value x is up to here is x you see here up to this to this center of gravity is this is x x is 40 now how we will find y3 you see the a b line a b line is the center of the circle so y is 0 in this case so y3 is equal to 0 next how we will find centroid of composite shapes what is the formula centroid of composite shapes x bar is equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 minus a3 x3 divided by a1 plus a2 minus a3 what is a1 a1 is 3200, x1 is 53.33 plus a2 is 2513.27 into x2 is 40 minus a3 is 1256.63 into x3 is 40 divided by a1 is 3200, a2 is 2513.27 minus a3 is 1256.63 x bar is equal to 49.57 mm next y bar is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 minus a3 y3 divided by a1 plus a2 minus a3 equal to a1 is 3200 into y1 is 26.67 plus a2 is 2513.27 into y2 is minus 16.97 minus a3 is 1256.63 into y3 is 0 so this whole thing is 0 divided by a1 is 3200 a2 is 2513.27 a3 is 1256.63 y bar is equal to 9.58 mm this is centroid of composite shapes thanks for watching this video